What's up guys and welcome to my review for Emma. This is a remake of the film of the same name that came out back in 1996. This is also based off of a book. So uh, yeah, this movie I went into it not really knowing much about it. Haven't seen the, haven't seen the original film. I do know that that film uh, starred Gwyneth Paltrow and uh, I know the movie also won an Oscar for best original score, uh, which was really surprising to me because it was up against uh, Alan Menken for The Hunchback of Notre Dame, which I, you know, I did listen to the score for Emma in 1996. I do think, you know, I mean, Alan Menken should have won the Oscar. I mean, they, I don't think they wanted to give him a ninth Oscar, you know, uh, but still, I mean, his score for The Hunchback of Notre Dame is one of his best scores, if not his best score. Uh, so that's something to take away from from all this. So going into this, I was uh, you know intrigued you know to see it. What was the story about? It stars Anya Taylor Joy, and she basically plays this uh, character back in the 1900s, 1800s. I think it was 1900s. It was a long, long time ago. That's the point. And uh, she is a matchmaker. She basically is, you know, this person who gets off uh, hooking people up, you know, f bringing love together, uh, and then maybe sometimes she's a dirty little sneak and, 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 and rips those people apart. She comes in, she gets in between the romance. This is, uh, this is a romance movie, uh, which is also a period piece. And to be honest with you, this movie is filled with a lot of uh, whimsical joy. You know, watching this movie is very pleasant to look at. It's 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 almost like you're you're in the middle of a nice cream-filled donut. You're just flowing around that cream, and and you're having a good time. That's what this movie is. It's such nice, just cream filling. You feel so good. You know, you're you're eating so much of it. You know, but by the end of the film. You know, I, I, I was like, okay, I get it, you know, it's a nice story, but, I mean, is this a movie that I'm going to go back to and rewatch? Probably not. Uh, you know, am I happy that I, I watched it? Sure. I mean, it's it's a fun little watch. I mean, it's, it's very lighthearted, very whimsical. Uh, you know, it's just, there's, there's not too much to grasp onto, you know, it's just this pleasant little watch uh and you tell her joy is really good i mean she's giving one of her best performances in this i think you know she's a really good actress you know but just the thing of it is is it does kind of move a little slow at times i mean there is a lot of entertaining scenes but occasionally the movie does slow down uh bill nye plays her father uh which i i thought he was good and he had some some good moments and there's a lot of humor in this film. A lot of it worked. Some of it didn't. I think the musical score was pretty good. I mean, you know, uh, they're coming off an Oscar-winning score here, as I mentioned before. So they had to kind of make something new. And I, I think the composer did a pretty good job. I liked the score. It was it was catchy. And I could uh, I could honestly see this movie. I mean, it it, it probably is going to get shut out when the Oscars come around. But I could see this going in for. For production design, I could see it getting in for 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 score. You know, I could I could I could see it getting in for costume design. Uh, you know, this, some of those uh, other other awards I think that this could be nominated for. But I mean, in the end of the day, like I said, it's not a movie that I'm going to run out to see again. But it was a fun little watch. Nothing that I'm going to really take away from it. But I, I did have a fun time with it, and I'm going to give Emma three out of five stars. Did like the movie overall. I just and really love it. Uh, guys, comment your thoughts in the comments. Do you plan on seeing this? Did you see it already? Did you see the original? What are your thoughts about the original? What are your thoughts about Rachel Portman winning the Oscar over Alan Menken back in 1996? What are your thoughts about all that? Leave that down below. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I just has started a new show called Quickie Wednesday Live. If you've been watching this channel, you know I did Quickie Wednesday reviews. Well, I have uh, evolved the Quickie Wednesday review to Quickie Wednesday Live. I talked about all the uh latest uh, movie news so you could check out my uh 
my my video for that i just did that earlier today so uh definitely leave your feedback on that guys you can follow me on facebook and twitter the links to those are in the description of this video and you can also follow me on instagram at king arises 131 and guys that's what it thank you very much for watching my review for emma and until next time over and out mother you must sample the tart <laughs>